three neurologic problems that you may not know about in Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and hypermobility spectrum disorders. The craniocervical syndrome may be caused by a Chiari malformation or by instability at C1-2, which are the two top vertebrae in the cervical spine. The symptoms of craniocervical syndrome include neck pain, headache, particularly at the base of the skull, the very top of the spine, dizziness and balance issues, ringing in the ears or tinnitus, difficulty swallowing, and facial pain. Patients with craniocervical syndrome may also have numbness and weakness in the arms and legs. The symptoms of a tethered cord are urinary urgency and frequency and sometimes loss of control of the urine. Chronic constipation is very frequent in people with a tethered cord, and they may also have leg heaviness, a sensation that the legs are just very heavy and walking is like walking through molasses. And people will also tell us that back pain, low back pain, and leg heaviness are worse when they're trying to walk up a hill or walk up a flight of stairs. Typically, people with a tethered cord will also say they feel more comfortable sitting with their legs up underneath them, and they were often toe walkers as youngsters. The common symptoms of small fiber neuropathy are those of pain, burning, and numbness in the skin. And small fiber neuropathy has many different causes, but Typically, the small fiber neuropathy is diagnosed by means of a skin biopsy and looking at how many nerve fibers there are, the small nerve fibers, in a given amount of skin. Those are the three common neurologic problems that we see in Ehlers-Danlos syndromes and hypermobility spectrum disorders. If you're looking for more information about the craniocervical syndrome and tethered cord, I recommend the Chiari and Serino Maelia Foundation website for many, many lectures and videos that address this issue.